Good morning, Singapore. My name is Lim Tian, and I am here on this beautiful Saturday morning in Chua Chu Kang GRC. I've come with my team to take Wai Ward, and we have had a fantastic re reception amongst the residents here. We are doing a community visit and to listen to the people's voice. And as you know, this is the ward that is helmed by the Health Minister Gan Kim Yong. And we have had so many comments from residents in this area about the failures of his leadership in the Ministry of Health. And of course, the big talking point is the HIV data leak. And this is the third major fiasco, third major fiasco under Gan Kim Yong whom I consider the most incompetent health minister in Singapore's history. We all recall that in 2015, after the general elections, they told Singaporeans of the hepatitis C fiasco. Now, they kept that, kept that under wraps until after the elections were over. And of course, last year, there was the major health data breach 1.5 million Singaporeans affected. And now this, 14,200 identities again revealed and leaked. And no wonder, everyone who comes up to me, who comes up to my team says, Singapore is breaking down. Nothing is working in Singapore anymore. And that brings me to another MP in Chua Chu Kang whom many residents here have commented negatively as well. And he is none other than Mr. Yi Chia Singh. Now, you will recall that he was one of the three MPs who a few days ago came out openly to advocate that CPF payouts should be moved back from 65 to 70. And so many people have come up to us today to say, what total nonsense is this? People in that age group need money to survive. Many of them are not in employment or cannot find employment. And yet, what does this government want to do? It wants deliberately to keep CPF money away from you, to delay payout. My fellow Singaporeans, remember something. CPF is not a government benefit. CPF is savings, your savings, your money that you have rightfully earned, but which the government has already kept away from you for decades. And in the meantime, they have used your money to invest and pay out measly returns. Which is why so many elderly senior Singaporeans today are impoverished. And yet, this government is not looking to helping them. It wants to make their life even more difficult by pushing back CPF payments. So, I thank the residents of Chua Chu Kang for giving us this amazing reception. I promise you, we are going to be here for many months to come, listening to your concerns, working with you, engaging with you, and we will do the same in many, many parts of Singapore. Thank you very much and see you soon.